What's up guys? I'm here to do a video uh, about living abroad for two years now and what I think of the United States now. And uh, I went back recently and instantly I feel that the toleration of people, like the toleration of races, toleration of uh, which is one of the worst things I could say uh, about the United States is they, they have a problem with tolerating people instead of actually embracing or wanting people uh, as far as race, religion, uh, political views. There's so much division and once you get off the plane you, you feel that weight. Um, so that's one of the main things I would say that I noticed. Not the bash but there's so many issues with food in other countries is uh, much more healthy. Uh, in the United States they have so much food that's not healthy that's accessible and there's uh, basically it's for people who don't have a lot of money it's the only food that they can get you know without uh, going broke so it's there's been uh, a separation of rich and poor where the middle class doesn't exist anymore so when you're out of the country you don't feel that you feel like everybody is in the same uh, battle uh doing what they have to do to make it the united states is uh used to be like the land of opportunity but now it's either you're poor or rich so if you're not making over a hundred thousand dollars there's uh either you're struggling to do things like uh, everything that you're doing costs so much money like for example if you go to disneyland disney world universal studios for a family it costs so much money to actually enjoy yourself ridiculous I recently went and it was like $300 for one person to have a fast pass in a park so of course if you don't have enough money but then the other part of that if you have make over a hundred thousand dollars you're probably working too much and don't get to enjoy the fruits of your labor very much so you have all these material things but then do you really have happiness what I see is the quality of life in the United States is very poor for a lot of people and so you have things like politics taking advantage of people so you have a government that gives people a lot of money for doing nothing and uh, I think that you can see that it doesn't really help it might help some people especially those who like doing drugs or alcohol and like with free money but it doesn't really get them to a point to where they're actually gonna grow and do something in this life so I would say the United States has its traps and it's not a whole thing to bash the United States but I would use the word overrated and because it's overrated because education and healthcare depends on your status um, the money that you have if you can afford that because everything costs so much so one of the things one of the things I definitely uh, noticed in other country being living outside of the country is the healthcare is just as good when it comes to to what I needed for a, like a quick checkup, but way less expensive, more accessible, and uh, I believe in the United States everything has either uh, a surgery or a cure, and it's pushed towards something that's going to cost you a ton of money. Uh, the United States as well has their problem with mental illness is not being handled so they major on the minors and the things that aren't that are important that they can't do nothing about they don't focus on so they act like it doesn't exist like mental illness uh, obviously I, I see even poverty in other countries and the United States wants to focus on identity politics and things that don't get anything accomplished in the United States or the world because the United States used to be a world leader Basically, if you have any moral values or anything that you're not respected, you have to accept everything. Everything has to go. So when I come back to the United States, I'm really, I, I feel like I'm subjected to possibly being sued or, or saying the wrong word and then actually being in trouble. Uh, you can get fired from a job for speaking your opinion. Uh, so this just something that I can't really support. Um, I dread going back to the United States even though I'll come back and I do appreciate my citizenship because I, I know there's hope that it can return to how it used to be. So the United States has basically become a place where if you don't accept whatever goes then you're against it and that to me is 
uh, very difficult. In other countries, they still don't have, they don't have the battles about what a woman is. And uh, even though you have the identity politics creeping up a little bit, there, there's not men playing in women's sports uh, like it is in the United States. And uh, you know which bathroom you need to go to. It's things that are obvious that other countries aren't fighting about. So what you see is, when there is weak leadership, other countries that come together, not taking the United States seriously anymore. So what I feel, especially as a black man abroad, is I don't get the same treatment I would get in the United States, meaning that I'm not looked at as the possible suspect of everything that goes on. Um, in the United States, it's not just racism, it's victim mindsets is there's racism victim mindsets on both sides and it's uh it's horrible uh, that people try to take advantage of that there's things like the court system that wants to take over your family when you're divorced or have children and it doesn't work out so i've never seen a woman in jail for not paying child support or taking care of her kid and i've never seen a woman homeless because she lost her house in a divorce so even though i'm sure that it happens this is just something and it happens way too much uh, because masculinity or, or being a man and wanting to take care of yourself in the United States is very difficult because you have traps all over the place that the government has systems that are built that are against you.